Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about lithium. So now let's get straight to it. Lithium, the element symbol Li, is the third element in the periodic table. It is part of the alkali metal group and can be found in the first column right below hydrogen. With an atomic number of 3 and an atomic mass of 6.941, lithium has 3 protons, 3 electrons and 4 neutrons. It is chemically active and has a single valence electron that is readily transferred to form a cation or compound. Lithium comes from the Greek word lithos, which means donor rock. It was named by a Swedish chemist, Johan Arfvedsen in 1817, who discovered it in the petalite ore. He named it after a stone to reflect its origin. Did you know that according to NASA, hydrogen, helium, and lithium are the three chemical elements created during the Big Bang? The first two elements are abundant, but lithium is not. Lithium makes up a mere 0.0007% of the Earth's crust. Because it is so reactive, lithium never appears alone in nature. It exists only in minerals, such as petalite, lipidolite, spodumene, and amblygnite. Also, lithium is found in traces in almost all igneous rocks and mineral springs. It dissolves well in water and is found in many foods, such as mushrooms, prawns, nuts, and seeds. Lithium is a special metal. It has one of the lowest melting points and a high boiling point for a metal at 180.54 degrees Celsius and 1342 degrees Celsius, respectively. At room temperature, pure lithium is a soft metal that has a silvery white appearance. It is so soft that it can be cut with a butter knife. Lithium is the least dense of the solid elements and is the lightest known metal. With a density of about half that of water, lithium can easily float on water. Because it is so light, lithium is made into alloys with other metals such as aluminium and magnesium to make strong lightweight metals. They are used in aircraft, bicycle frames, high-speed trains, and armor plating. Lithium reacts violently with air and water, forming a strong corrosive base. For this reason, lithium is commonly stored in mineral oil. Lithium burns with a bright red flame. It is added to fireworks to make red sparks. But when the metal burns sufficiently well, the flame becomes a brilliant white. Did you know that lithium fires are difficult to put out? Water could make the fire worse as lithium will react vigorously with water. A powder fire extinguisher is needed in this condition. Lithium is used in a variety of applications. The main use is in rechargeable batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are small but powerful, they are ideal for smartphones, tablet computers, and even electric cars. Glass composed of lithium oxide is resistant to heat and is used in scientific equipment, such as mirrors and telescopes. It is also used for extra durability and corrosion resistance. Like other alkali metals, lithium can be used to make soap. A soapy compound called lithium stearate is used to make lubricant. They help automobile engines and mechanical parts to run smoothly, even in high temperature. Lithium chloride and lithium bromide are one of the most hygroscopic materials known. They are used as desiccants in air conditioning and industrial drying systems. For more than a century, lithium carbonate in small doses has been used to treat bipolar disorder. It is also used in other mental illnesses, such as depression, schizophrenia and eating disorders. Some artificial teeth contain lithium disilicate to make them strong. And lithium hydroxide is useful to purify air and remove carbon dioxide in spacecraft and submarine. Did you know that lithium was once a key ingredient in 7-Up? Originally, the drink containing lithium citrate was called Bid Label Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda to stand out in the market. It was marketed based on the health effects of lithium in the soda and became the third best-selling soft drink in the world in the 1940s. Lithium was included in the recipe until 1950. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.